Nathan, welcome to Burnham Football Club. A new chapter for you, the one you were looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. Once the opportunity arose for me to come here, I think that's where my head has been at. I've been wanting to play football consistently for a while now, and the fact the opportunity has come up here is something which I'm, I'm happy to have, and now I just want to ha have the opportunity to play and take it. I'm sure there's been a lot of interest in you this summer, you know, being a young, exciting forward. What made you think that Burnley was the right move for you? Um, I just see them as a Premier League club, so obviously them getting relegated last season, I know that their ambitions will be to go straight back up and I want to play a part of a team who want to get back into the Premier League and speaking to the manager, he's, he's told me the game plan, what he thinks for the season and how he thinks I'll fit into the team as well, so it's not been nothing but posit positivity. Manager Vincent Company, legend of the game, <laughs> did he play much of the part in you coming to Burnley? Yeah, definitely. I think the phone call I had with him really sold the club to me and really told me how, how he rates me as a player and as a person and how he thinks I'll get plenty of opportunities here as well as also telling me that he'll work with me one-to-one -one and also be tough and critical on me and that's something I felt like I needed. Um, so yeah, that's a very big factor and very big reason as to why I came here. I'm looking forward to working under him as well? Yeah, definitely. So you joined Southampton from Arsenal in 2017 and progressed you know, through the academy ranks, now made over 40 appearances for yeah. Southampton's first team. Have you enjoyed your time down there and feel like you've, you've put up a lot of experience over the years yeah. being a young player? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I've um, experienced a lot. I've learned a lot from the boys and I think coming here now I can hopefully use some of that experience I've learned here to play, play in the team here and take that and take what I learned here and also take it back to Southampton. But right now my head's only focused on here. It's day one, so I can't wait to get started. And it's your first law move in your career. Do you think it's the right time for you in your career to sort of make that step and to come out and play first in football as well? Yeah, definitely. I think it's something I've obviously wanted to do the past year. I didn't play as much football as I would have liked. And now going into this season, I didn't want to feel like I would have the same season as the last one. So now the opportunity has come for me to go and learn. I felt like for me to go and show people what I can do and play consistently, or have the chance to play consistently, I felt I, it's something I needed to do. I spoke to my family and my friends about it and they all assured me that it was the right decision. So yeah. And we know you're a attacking player, but what, what can Burnley fans expect to see of you in the Claret Blue shirt? Um, <laughs> a lot of pace, dribbling 1v1, something I, I like to do in my game, um, take players on, run at players and hopefully more in products and goals, assists and winning, winning the games. When you've only missed two games of the season so far, yeah. beat Huddersfield and then draw with Luton last week, have you seen much of the game so far, any, any of the goals or anything? Yeah, I watched the uh, uh, Huddersfield game, that was, yeah, the Huddersfield game, that was the first game I watched, it was Friday night and my first thoughts for the first 45 minutes was, wow, like, this isn't the Burnley I, I've played against yeah. in, in the past. So it looks like it's a really, really exciting team full of young players and I'm happy to be a part of them. You mentioned the sides you've played against in the past. You've, you've been at Turf Moor a couple of times, yeah. come off the bench. Well, what, what have you experiences from, from being at Turf Moor before and being at, playing against Burnley? No, my last one wasn't good, they lost 2-0. <laughs> but I can see that the fans get behind you, especially when you're doing well. And that's something which I can tell the boys will, will pull towards and something that they definitely will give them more motivation to to keep going and keep performing and doing well. So yeah, definitely looking forward to playing at Turf Moor. And you've become signing number 11 of the summer, with eight <laughs> of them being 23 years old and under. Um, is that something that's exciting, you know, the prospect of a young team and the excitement there? Yeah, definitely a young team. You know that young players always have enthusiasm and energy and they want to perform and do as well as they possibly can. And the fact that there's still some senior players in the team, looking forward to meeting them, but also looking to hear what they've experienced, what I can learn from them. And it's nice to obviously have experienced lads as well and nice to also have younger players around so it's probably more in common for us to talk about. Um, we're at Watford on Friday, a tough game which we all know and two home games next week at Turf Moor. I look forward to meeting the fans and, and getting out there. Yeah definitely, I think the first thought would be obviously to win the game no matter how we, we do it, we just got to win but yeah definitely looking forward to hopefully being involved tomorrow and definitely playing in front of Turf, at Turf Moor this season. And it's a lovely day here. Yeah. I, have you seen much of the training facilities? I know you're at Sunday Day 1. Have you been impressed from what you've seen so far? Yeah, literally just walking in. It's, it's not what I expected. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. It's really nice and a lot of pitches. A lot of pitch looks good, well kept, and all the people who've seen me so far have welcomed me in really well. So now I just, just can't wait to get started. Yeah, thanks very much, Nathan. No all the best. Thank Thanks.